Then they say, oh, now let's reduce the whole thing to political arithmetics. The president has the power to appoint about 6,000 people. And so if he appoints 60 people and so what? President Mahama appointed only one person who had any form of familiar relation with him. And that was an issue. So one, one, appointing one relative of yours, the New Patriotic Party addressed the press conference on that. Ad I mean, which was ad actually addressed by Wachir Jacob, their policy advisor. The president and the, his vice all spoke against that, just one yeah. from the relative. And you think that 50 is okay. Yeah. Well, granted that the president appoints 6,000 people. How many families are there in Ghana? Thousands of families. And you think that it is okay for only one family to have 50 out of 6,000? Mm -hmm. That is your understanding of fairness? And then they say, oh, um, uh, 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 you are saying that. Hold on. You are saying that at the time President Mahama mm -hmm. was president of this republic, mm -hmm. he didn't have any relation in his government. No, no, yeah. wait. Nephews or whoever working in any state organization. Okay. We are That's saying. The question. I need you to yes. answer that question. Yes. That I, is the fact. Because we haven't said that your question is wrong, so I need to correct the no, question. No, it is not wrong because the something? people you, you, you say, this the, the people you speak that about, thinking that you allow me, Listen, if, please. Let me show you. I, let, me, let, me, let me let me understand please. something. There's let something me. that you, the allow, politicians, don't allow understand. Me let, let, me, let me just explain this briefly. Okay. There's something that you, the politicians, don't understand. Once you put a matter forward and you come on the show, don't expect us to give you a blank check. When we that are interrogating those issues, allow place. us to interrogate because you, you have had the opportunity and to before speak. I end, you so, ask another. So it is, okay, no it is important. No In fact, you it proceed. helps you to bring the proceed. best out of the situation. Proceed. You are asking me whether there was uh, whether there was no relative of President Mahama working in any state. Because agency. you mentioned Joyce Bauer, uh -huh. which is at the level of ministerial appointment. And I am telling you that your question is misconceived because what is at stake here is the issue of appointees of the president i am saying that apart from joyce bawa Mukhtari, president mahama never appointed any family relative of his into any position if you dispute that produce evidence and let's discuss that he never appointed any person you refer to and yet dr. That was an issue. dr Bamia's relation mm -hmm. who you have been told was in this a lie was a in lie this a position before the government, a blatant the lie. government a, came in. So if you allow me, I will address this. It was a blatant lie. He was working at the Ministry of Interior under us, but he was not a presidential staffer, and he was not a technical advisor to the Minister of Interior. Under the NDC, there was no position called technical advisor to the Minister of Interior. But is he that a is, hold on, now? yes, he is. His name is on the unprecedented list of 998. If you want, I will prove that to you. And so his current position, as technical advisor to the Minister of Interior, is an appointment made by President Kufuad. Okay, so that's what you are. It is also a lie for Gary to sit around this table and say, "Nana uh, Kufi Dakwa Sante Bediatu's father is not in government. He is the government representative on Ghana Bauxite Company. He is the chairman of the Gipa Council." And did I hear somebody say that is not government? Is not Who is he there representing? He's representing government. He's well, an appointee of government, no, no, no. answerable to the president. So let me proceed systematically. Today we are hmm. having people in this country who know that all around the world nepotism is frowned upon because of its tendency to breed corruption and favoritism. Saying that it is okay for the president to make his own daughter a member of the Creative Arts Council. It is okay for President Ekufuado to dash a vast space dedicated for a duty-free shop in Terminal 3 built by President Mahama to another daughter of his without any transparent tendering process. How did President Akufuado's daughter President, get that space? President, President Akufuado gave a contract. I am saying. No, no, that's what you're saying. President Akufuado gave a contract. I have not said that. That's your creation. That's, that's what I, you said. said no. He said he dashed. Yes, of course. So gifts. Yes. That's that he what gave a contract. Yes, and that is even stronger. The president I, gave yes. a contract. The only reason why President Akufuado's daughter is the one running that vast space as a duty-free shop is because her father is president. Because that space was not given to her through any competitive, transparent tendering process. If you know it, you can tell us. The Ghana Airport Company is watching. I am daring them, or challenging them to adduce evidence that we went through this laid down procedure of law to select her. You are saying that it is okay for the president to give his baby mama, Madame Virginia Hesse, 
a position as ambassador to the Czech Republic. It's okay for his cousin to be finance minister. It's okay for his cousin to be roads and highways minister. It is okay for his maternal relative to be works and housing minister. It is okay for the wife of his nephew to be a board member of GMPC, the brother of the, the, that same wife. Here I'm talking about Gabi. To be board chairman of BOST, Roda Lembafo Jima, another cousin, board member of Goel, is Ghana for them. Are they the only qualified people in the MPP? Are they the only, only qualified people in this country?